Hello, I'm Mike Rotin from Cloudline Info and I would like to give you a small introducing of the IT registry. The IT registry is an yeah contains all configuration settings on the SYN client. So just to give you a small example, I will create a new profile here and then call it test. And when you create a profile here, you can select the firmware where this configuration is based on. Uh, why it is important, just to explain it a little bit to you. These based on means it will give you all settings available coming with this firmware. And now a small sample. IJ has included remote desktop gateway support and firmware, re firmware release ago. So when I go now to sessions, RDP, in the current UMS console I will not found any remote desktop gateway configuration. But now I have a profile created on this new firmware. I don't find the setting here. But in the registry, when I go here to RDP, when connect, then I see here the remote desktop gateway configuration. So the registry provides you a much more advanced configuration. Of course from the naming here it's a little bit more different like the GUI but on the other side it allows you much more configuration settings like available in the GUI and this is a big advantage. For example ICA if you want to optimize troubleshoot ICA sessions you have a bunch of settings available here in the registry and the naming is quite clear, ICA, Citrix protocol, WF client. Okay, here are all the settings related to the WF client. You have some manuals available depending on the vendors, uh, which explains uh, this registry setting because this is nothing which is based on IGEL stuff, it's based in this case on Citrix stuff, uh, similar for VMware sessions, RDP sessions. Um, so. Not all these settings can be explained by IGEL. You maybe have to refer to, to vendor manuals. Okay, good. So this is one sample. Just to give you some other sample, when you go to the network configuration LAN interfaces, you will not find for the interface one, for example, an MTU configuration. But when I now go to the registry, and I go now to network and the naming is quite simple you only have to read it network interfaces ethernet device hero and this device hero is the onboard network card for the SYN clients and here I have available the setting MTU so I can enable the MTU here and change it to 4090. You have also tooltips available in the registry so when I move my mouse pointer on the configuration field I will now see a small uh, description of the setting. You have also in this registry device percent. Sometimes it could be for hardware, it could be also for sessions like an ICA session when I go to sessions. And here I will found I'll find our configured, configured settings. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so when I create an RDP session for example here and RDP session is named WinConnect. I have here WinConnect percent and WinConnect percent means now this are default settings. So if I want to create an RDP session I select this and click in the registry on add instance and now I get WinConnect zero and I can give it a name for example RDP session one and when I now go back to the GUI RDP sessions RDP session, I see the session do not appear here. So sometimes when you work with the registry or you create a session and want to change it in the registry, you have to save it one time or to close the IGES setup at the SYN client and then click on edit configuration again or open the local IGES setup again and then you see the RDP session, RDP session one now appears here. So these are only basic steps. Um, I just want to introduce the registry a little bit to you. It's a very powerful tool. By the way, if you want to 
change later, for example, optimization settings you have done. You can go on the UMS, UMS only to the registry and then you have an option here show only enabled parameters. And this will only display you the change configuration you have made in the profile. So it's quite simple to find it. I also recommend if you have done some configuration like that, that you write in the uh, description that changes are made in the registry. So that maybe a colleague uh, that he directly knows where to find the special configuration you have done. Okay, I hope this explains the registry a little bit to you. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Bye.